Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falca Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2, A Legacy of the Void. Today, it's going to be Charlenium versus Bergstrom. Here on Data C, top right, going to be our Red Terran. Off racing today, it is Charlenium. We've seen him as Zerg, and in the bottom left, a Zerg player. It is Bergstrom. You can call it a Bergstrom, but with an E on the end there, I think it's Bergstrom. Hmm. Alrighty then. So, a TVZ here, Sherlinium, off racing, but he knows Zerg very well, so I think that gives him an advantage here. So, an extractor pool, a pool first opening into an extractor. Okay, man. Okay, Bergstrom. What are we doing here today? Hmm? What are we doing? Pressure with lings? All right, man. Hope you have three larvas saved up. You do. Bam, bam, bam. Zerg, Zerg, Zerg. Ling, ling, ling. Close? No? Not actually. He doesn't quite have the minerals for all that because he expanded. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. So there's lings, but like they don't want to do anything. Okay. Well, neat. It's a one base opening from Charlinium anyway. I thought ling pressure would show up, but nope. But it's a one racks into factory play, which Terra the Overlord gonna scout out, which the Marines gonna chase away. But yeah, you're gonna see the barracks in the factory and say, yo, okay. Neat. So both players are doing weird stuff. I like it. I'm on board with this. This is a Patreon cast for Charlinium, who does support me at $10 a month on patreon.com slash Paladin, which gives him the right to send me one replay every single month, and I'll cast it. No questions asked. And in fact, I look forward to it. This is great. This is so weird. Like, okay, so you got a quick factory for quick Hellions. And it's almost a happy accident. Because if you just gone for like a one Rax expand, then I think you'd be in a lot of trouble. You're still in a lot of trouble though, because the Hellions took a minute to get out here, but you're gonna save the second base at the very least. Man, it's amazing how bad Hellions are against Lings when they don't have them lined up. Ooh, look at that. Oh no! They didn't maybe maybe the second base is dead. Ah, oh, he forces a cancel on it. Because these Hellions are too far away to save it. I don't know. That would have been close. That would have been tight. So Bergstrom says, you know what I need is roaches now. Because I saw those Hellions being produced. Second command center being built inside the main base for Charlinium. Now uh, another factory is on the way. Interesting. So for a second there, I thought this might be just kind of a, you know, Hellion style opening. Pretty traditional stuff. But instead, he's going mech. He's going double armory, double factory. Oh, this is beautiful. This is good. I'm on board with this. I think Charlinium has probably died to Mass Thor so many times that he's like, it's time to exert that on somebody else and make them sad. It's a fellow Zerg player. I do feel kind of bad about it, but hey. You gotta do what you gotta do to win in StarCraft, right? This has gotta be. Like tanks and Thors and Hellbats and stuff, because to deal with that as Zerg, you need casters. You need Viper play. You need maybe some Neural Parasite. Like, you just can't defeat mech without any spellcasters at all. And the mech player doesn't need spellcasters. They just march Thors across the map one at a time and they murder you. And that's it. I guess maybe if you go Mass Lurker and the Thors wander into, like, a Mass Lurker choke scenario. Where, like, a bunch of Thors are bumping around in the back here and the Lurkers are just like... Pshaw, 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 and all the Lurkers die, then sure. If the Terran player is really dumb, then you don't need spellcasters. All you need is Lurkers against a Mass Thor player, but... Anyway, yeah, that was one of my it's one of my least favorite things in StarCraft is the strategies the enemy can deploy that really don't require any spellcasting, just like basic attacking units, but to defeat it, you really do need spellcasters. It always seemed unfair to me. Like, back in the day, there was the Stalker Colossus strategy against Zerg, like in Wings of Liberty, and it was super good. And, like, the way you had to deal with it was going to be by getting out... Uh, infestors at that point or I don't even was that pretty much it for Zerg at that point I'm trying to remember how I did it it was just so much more work to deal with Stalker Colossus did this like a moving into your face you know frustrating stuff and I guess technically you could just use like a corruptor roach kind of a play maybe the corruptors to kill the Colossus obviously but even then you'd have to come in from different directions because if you just attack straight on, the Stalkers to kill them all real fast, because bonus versus armor the Stalkers have. Anywho, I'm complaining about stuff that is way in the past. Yep, Thor production. Oh, I'm actually getting Magfield Accelerator 2 for Cyclones, of which I... There's there's one. There is a Cyclone here. Fair enough. So, 
Roach play from Bergstrom. Fine. I'm down with it. I like that he's got three bases. I'd love it if he had four bases, though. He's floating about 600 minerals now, so that seems like a fine idea. Oh, Bergstrom's getting Burrow. Oh! Hold on. A Burrow trap against Mech with Roaches can be pretty good, too. Especially against this race car mech stuff where you got everything that's fast and Roaches can't keep up and chase them. If you get a Burrow trap to where, you know, this happens... And then they drive over your burrowed roaches. It's not bad. Yeah, so like the Hellions are not a problem for the Zerg. Mass Hellion is pretty bad against Zerg. But the Cyclones change all of that calculus. And suddenly the Cyclones are murdering your roaches. And Bergstrom's like, oh yeah? Die everything. Oh yeah. Okay, this is real bad all of a sudden for Charlinium. He's also got some something up here in his second base. I don't know what that was, but it seemed pretty bad. So, Mass Roach. Like, okay. I mean, if you can get here before there's a critical number of Thors, I support this plan. So, Thor down, Cyclone down, Hellions firing on. That doesn't help anything for the Terran player at all. But going up this ramp is ill-advised, man. Don't go up the ramp. Don't go up the ramp. Go to the third base. Don't go... Oh, there's three Thors up there, man. You don't have enough. Kill the sensor tower or... He's trying to snipe down this orbital, and he almost gets it, but then the repair is too good, and he's trying to engage here, but his roaches are bouncing around the back, which is exactly the worst thing to happen in StarCraft, is when you have units as part of a battle that aren't actually attacking anything. Okay, so yeah, the mass Thor, man. Eight kills, eight kills, 11 kills. That's what we're talking about here. Thor, good unit. You think roaches would be fine. They are not particularly great. If there's like 10 roaches and one Thor, yeah. Sure. But equal cost for equal cost, Thors are better. Overseers in the mix in case there's widow mines to deal with. But yeah, that attack, uh, not good. Really not good. It's 6,000 resources lost for Bergstrom's and 3,200 for Charlinium. So yeah, this is <laughs> Charlinium being like, man, I hate it when people make these units against me. It's time to be on the other side of that for once. Now, Bergstrom's like, uh... Investors, it's time! With Neuroparasite? Nope, but Pathogen Glands is done. That's nice. I'm gonna support that, but he's only on three bases. He's finally getting a fourth base, but dude, Charlinium's on four bases now. Yeah, I mean, look, this is a question of, yeah, Mech is really good against lower-level Zergs, but also getting out macroed is really good against lower-level Zergs and everyone, in point of fact. So, okay, Bergstrom expanding again and again because he recognized he was suddenly floating 3,000 minerals because he was too busy microing his roaches up here to actually spend his money. Understandable problems, sir. Good scans, though, from Charlinium. You know, casually murdering all that stuff. Huh. Huh. Yeah, all right. So this base is dead, and yep, we're just um, we're just a moving here for a minute, and oh, swarm host attempts. Okay, uh, can work. Dude, these roaches are just gonna die. They are. I mean, they're taking out some cyclones with them, which is nice. Vikings attacking. Oh, the Thors using their anti-air attack is so good. Oh my gosh. Yo, the locusts are like, we're going to get you. And the Thors are like, what if we kill you while you're flying? Oh, they killed one of the Thors. Hey, look at that action. Nice. So it's 19 kills on that Thor. Not too bad. 15 kills on that Thor. We've got a single siege tank here just for diversity's sake, I guess. Oh, a neural parasite on one of the Thors. But that scan reveals everything. Um, hatch it down. So it's 171 and 164 supply. A lot of that is in swarm hosts, which are useless for about 45 seconds at a time, like really utterly useless at 45 seconds at a time. More production of Thors. Yeah, Thors and Hellions all the time here. Vikings getting shots off. Thors really need to kind of prioritize the Locusts over the Thors, I would say. Roach is trying to kill a siege tank. They got him, but every Roach died in the process. And I kind of like the Bergstrom has, well, do I like it? I don't know. He's got like two separate rallies of Swarmhost Locust here, and maybe that's not on purpose. In fact, I'm pretty sure it isn't. 
But it's kind of working out for him. He burrows them in there. Very nice. I don't ever bother really to burrow my swarm hosts when I use them. Because I use them with Nidus. So they come out, they launch their locust, they go back in the Nidus. Burrow doesn't really seem to help anything at all. But I think this is just dead Zerg, man. This is swarm hosts not great against mech. Used to be great against Mac. Heart of the Swarm days. Do you remember those days? Do you remember those days when Swarm Host against Mac was like three and a half hour long StarCraft 2 games and everybody was like, please kill us now. GG! Bergstrom taps out. Charlinium is your winner in 15 minutes. There we go. That's it. Mac is good. Like, I honestly cannot remember. <laughs> I just can't remember a ZVT featuring mech where Zerg won on this level. So, yeah. Hmm. So, I don't know. If you're in Mindrake Madness and you want to kill Zerg, this is how you do it. There you go. This will not work the higher you go, but it works real good here. That is for certain. 29 kills, 30 kills, 27 kills, 37 kills, zero kills on this. Oh, it's a Viking. Fine. 20, 31 kills on that. Are you serious? 31, 37, 27, 30, and 29. Holy crap. Some effective Thor stuff. A lot of that is locusts, which are dying and like whatever. That's not like a huge deal. But yeah, at the end of the game here, it is a total of 109 roaches that died. Two Thors went down. This is a 17,000 resources lost play for Bergstrom and 6,500 resources lost for Starlidium. That's insane. I mean, it's not insane. It's normal. It's normal stuff. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. This is how you do it. And Charlidium's like, uh, he probably felt a little bit dirty doing this, right? Like part of him's like, uh... I don't know if I feel good about myself doing that. Or maybe he does. Maybe he does. Like, my thing is, yeah, when I play StarCraft 2 at my level, I can just, like, you know, mass Void Rays and mass some carriers and win a lot of the games. But I'm just like, ugh. It's just, it's boring and it's kind of slow. It's not really my thing. But a lot of people, you know, a lot of people love it. A lot of people are totally into winning that way. And, like, more power to them, I guess. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, so good man, Charlinium. Thanks for continuing to support me at patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin. I love ya. Great job getting a mech win against a Zerg player of your level. And that's going to be it for me today. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always... Thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. The path of the